Hey guys, so today I am going to be, sorry I need some chapstick. Okay, so today I'm going to be focusing on my hair care regimen again. This is part three and I'm just going to show you some of my styling products or not some of these styling products that I have that are kind of like things that I would buy again that are kind of like staples right now. Um, also, some of these um, kind of double up as moisturizer. Actually, um, three out of four of them I kind of use as moisturizers um, as well. So, I'm going to show you those. So, first, I'm going to start with um, kind of the most obvious. It's my Shea Butter Mix. Um, what's in my Shea Butter Mix is 100% uh, organic raw Shea Butter. I use the yellow one. Um, it really doesn't matter which one you use. You can use the white one, you can use the yellow one. It just all depends on your preference. Um, I like the yellow one. And what oils I put in here are pretty much all the oils that you saw in my leave-in, um, my leave-ins and oils video, which was in part two. All those oils are mixed in here. much what I do I melt not melt it all the way down like to a liquid form just so that it's kind of soft add my oils um, and then just um, stir it up put it back in the fridge so that it can solidify and that's how I get my shea butter mix so that is one of my stylers I actually love this for um, braid outs twist outs um, anything like that I pretty much only use my shea butter when my hair is dry or blown out and things like that I have used it on wet hair hair like to seal in moisture and things like that um, but I tend to use it really for so like, dry I really style. really love shea butter I've been using it I actually was using it before I even went natural so I've been using it pretty much for as long as so I can anyway remember. so next is um this shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie now, I really, this thing smells so freaking good. And I actually only tried this because of Naturally Candy when she did her Juicy Braid Out with her shea butter and this. And so I was like, okay, let me pick it up and I bought it. And that's pretty much the only thing that I use this for is to use when I do my Juicy Braid Out when I use my shea butter in this. Um, I actually, actually love the results of that Juicy Braid Out using this. Um... Really, really like this. I would definitely buy it again. It smells great. It feels great. Um, really like it. I love. I love this stuff, and I will probably continuously buy this. I really, really like it. Um, I have used it to re-moisturize my hair at night before, which it works fine. You know, it's. You know, this is just kind of something just to put on your hair if you're using it for that, just to do. But the main purpose of me using this is when I do my juicy braid out or twist out with, I, which I really don't do the juicy twist out, I usually do ju juicy braid outs. So that's um, what I mainly use this for. I love this stuff. It's amazing. It smells amazing. Like seriously, the smell is great. So love that. Um, next is my Carol's Daughter Healthy Hair Butter. Love this stuff. It's kind of like I actually like this for um, braid outs and twist outs as well because it has beeswax in it so it gives a really really nice hold so I have used that um, sometimes what I've done is when I'm doing my juicy braid out instead of using this I'll use this sometimes just um, but I actually really really like this thing it's a very 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 moisturizing like your hair will not look, feel dry after you use this. So I actually love this it is stuff. my Cow's Daughter Lock Butter. I really, really like this. Um, I don't get much. Um, I do get a lot of use out of it. But the thing with this is you have to be, when I first got it, I used it on some mini braids. And then when I took my braids out, my hair looked so, like, stringy and greasy. Um, we have to be very, very careful when you use this. Like, when I say a little bit goes a long way, a little bit goes a long way. Like, I've had this probably for, I want to say seven or eight months, and it's still pretty much at the top. Like, I didn't make a dent in it at all because you don't need that much. And 
The only reason the dent is probably as big as it is because when I first got it, I actually used too much. Um, but I actually like this a lot. I actually prefer to use this when my hair is damp or, you know, freshly washed, not blown out or anything like that. I like it to use it. Um, I like to use it that way. Um, it is 100% natural in here. Um, the smell isn't that great, but again, um, it gives you a really, really nice hold. Use a little bit. Like, that is my only warning and thing about this. Use a little bit. Like dime size not even dime size like small like because if you use too much your hair is going to be too greasy and look all like crazy um so i really, really like this it's very moisturizing as well um i actually had this before i had this and the only reason i tried this was because i'm like well this has beeswax in it as well but it's kind of more like a moisturizer let me try this and that's why i ended up buying this but um I do like this for my braid outs and twist outs. Definitely buy buy it again. I think this is like $18 or $16, something like that. Um, but again, like I'm probably going to have this for at least, at least another year, maybe longer. Like seriously, I'm going to have this for a while. So spending the, you know, $16, $18 for this, it's a lot, but you're probably going to have it for at least a good year and a half, maybe more, because you don't need that much. So I really, 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 really like this a lot. Um, and lastly, which is something that um, I don't use often, um, but I do use it, and it is the Eco Salad Gel, um, the Moroccan Olive Oil Gel. It is alcohol-free. Um actually really really like this when I first went natural and I had a TWA I used the olive oil one and then I saw they had this one so I kind of like gave the olive oil olive oil to someone else and went out and bought this one and it smells 10 times better than the olive oil one and I don't feel like it flakes as much now the thing with hair gel is I don't use it often because I don't slick my hair up that often like I use it for of course you know this but um I don't suck up my hair that often. I'm not one of those people who style my edges. And if I do, I don't use this for that anyway, which I'll show you that in the next video. Um, but it's just not something I use that often. But for when I do want those really, really slicked up hairstyles that I want to pretty much last me all week, um, this is the gel that I go to because um, it's it gives you a very, you know, the thing is my hair is, you never have that hard gel feeling. It's not hard like my hair is still like you know you can move it and whatever so it's not like that hard stiff stiffness I don't know if it's because I re-moisturize my hair and do oils on top of it before I go to sleep or whatever to soften up the gel um but I actually really really like this it gives a really nice hold and I don't have to reapply it too much like for next day hair or the day after and things like that so really really like this a lot um this is my go-to gel for the times when I do slick up my hair. Again, I do not slick up my hair that often. Um, as you can see, I've had this jar about a year. And it's probably about one-third of the way down. Um, so, maybe almost a little bit more than one-third, almost half. Um, so I've had this for a year. It's a pretty big tub, of course, but um, I don't use it that often. And like I said, when I do um, use it, uh, I only use it for like this, this really, for high buns. <laughs> when I do a bun or something like that, that's the only time I really use it. So um, I actually really like this. So those are it for my like my staple styling products. Um, I don't use them all at once or, you know, it just kind of depends on my mood or just whatever happens to grab me first there's no one thing that I like better than the other because I use them all for particular reasons or um I mix them and things like that so those are like my basic style styling uh products um so I hope you guys enjoyed that video again like when I say I don't have that many products like now, I don't have that, that are consistent with my regimen and that I use and alternate and things like that. So I really, really enjoy them a lot. Um, that's pretty much it for this 
video, I'm looking at time. It's probably not going to be as long as the other two. Um, but the last uh, insert of this um, hair regimen series is going to be my extras video, which is pretty much things that I have that I use. But I really don't use them enough to call them staples or um, they are probably things that I won't buy again. Um, but I'll get into that in that video. Uh, make it sure might be a little bit longer. Look out for part four. Um, if you missed parts one and two, the links will be down below so that you can go straight to those videos and check them out. Um, again, part four will be the extras, my sweet treats, my you know, special products and things like that. So I will get into that in part four. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's, it's pretty short, I think. I hope by the time I edit it down, it should be short, right? right. I will see you next time. Bye.